We're back now with that spring break mystery and those new concerns about vacation rentals after an American family of four died in Mexico. Police say they were killed by toxic gas inside their rented condo. And you have this story for us, This Amy. is so Tra frightening and it's so tragic, of course. Investigators in Mexico are still actually trying to figure out what caused this tragedy. A cousin of the family tells ABC News they went to sleep and never woke up. This morning, new concerns over the safety of vacation rentals abroad after one family's spring break getaway turned deadly. 41-year-old Kevin Sharp and his wife Amy surprising their two children, 12-year-old Sterling and 7-year-old Adriana, with a trip to this beachfront condominium complex in Tulum, Mexico earlier this month. But when the Iowa family didn't make their return flight home to St. Louis Wednesday, their loved ones knew something was wrong. My mother lost her youngest daughter, and she's, like all of us, got the support of everybody rallying around us. Mexican authorities finding the family of four dead inside that condo Friday, they say due to asphyxiation by inhalation of toxic gases. The attorney general saying there were no signs of violence nor evidence to suggest disturbances inside the room. When they found them, both kids looked like they were watching TV and the parents were in the bed watching TV. So there was no foul play. These photos showing firefighters and a forensics team scouring the condo Saturday, inspecting the gas installation for any leaks. Mexican authorities saying it will take about 10 days to determine the type of toxic fume that caused their deaths. Despite travel warnings from the U.S. State Department due to its level of crime, Mexico still remains one of the top five spring break destinations for Americans. The Sharp family found the condo through vacation home rental company VRBO, who says they have since remove the property from its site. Travel experts warn the safety standards for home rentals are far different than hotels. If you're renting, the minute you go into that room, that apartment, check the smoke alarm and, and the carbon monoxide detector and make sure they're working. Yeah, that is certainly something to think about now. While Mexican authorities have yet to determine the exact type of toxic gas that was in the condo, some travel experts suggest that you just heard bringing your own car carbon monoxide detector. We have one right here like this. You can plug it into a power outlet when you travel so you actually can just bring it with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. whether on the plane or, or checked it in your baggage, whatever. That's right, and it determines you have to actually know the battery source. Right. So sometimes you can bring them on your checked luggage. Sometimes you can just uh, have to actually pack them because the batteries mm. can have an issue with the plane. So you have That's to check fun. beforehand what type of carbon monoxide detector you're bringing, but certainly worth it. Gosh, I mean, it just had us yeah. all thinking that we just, I know, it doesn't cross our mind when we're renting. Yeah, you just is. go in at your home away from home, yeah. you imagine. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, sure. Amy. Appreciate that.